Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and today I have a fun project as I was looking at the jellyfish stamps. In the Hedgehog Hollow June kit, I thought I would try to create that bioluminescence that most jellyfish emit. It's kind of like a light. Um, it's a chemical rea reaction that causes them to emit light. It's really kind of neat. And over 90% of jellyfish are able to produce this bioluminescence, so I thought that would be really fun to try to make a card showing that beautiful light. And so here I am starting with some distress oxides. I started with the tri twisted citron in the middle, and then I went around that with the fossilized amber. And now I'm going to use salty ocean and then peacock feathers. And the distress oxides, they just blend so beautifully so this project was really kind of fun to create. And as you can see, I'm trying to hold my fingers along the sides of this paper <laughs> so that I didn't get my fingers all inky. And, and you can see that I wasn't very successful. <laughs> so I'm grabbing some post-it tape here and it's sticky on one side, which I put my fingers on and then it, it allows me to hold that paper while I do some more ink blending and hopefully I don't get any fingerprints on this panel. So as you can see, I'm just going to finish up the ink blending here and I created this one really dramatic, but look at that neat jellyfish. It's gonna look really pretty. I'm, I'm gonna set that one aside to dry and now I'm gonna do one that's a little less dramatic using some purples. So this first distress oxide I'm going to use is the milled lavender and then we'll go in some with some Victorian velvet and wilted or seedless preserves actually. I ended up not using that pink, the first one there, because I kind of liked the purples and the soft purples in this one for this particular card. I'm pretty much doing this the same way, starting with the a lighter color in the center and going around it with a little bit darker and then around the whole edges with the darkest of the colors here and I'm not going to show you this whole thing because it did take me a little while but it's exactly the same as I did the first one. So here you can see that I've completed that ink blending and these will actually get a little smoother too as they dry and I'm going to make sure those are dry before I stamp the jellyfish. So how I test that is I put some embossing powder on and if it completely falls off and doesn't stick to the distress oxide then it's ready to go. So you can see I am just going figuring out the placement here and I'm going to place that on an acrylic block with some Versamark sticky ink. And I'm just gonna stamp that a couple of times. I have purchased a new Versamark ink pad that's completely clean. <laughs> you can see this one is well loved, but I didn't want to open the new one because I knew I would just get it dirty again. And this one's still working just fine. <laughs> So there I went ahead and put on some white embossing powder and I'm going to just heat set that and you'll see that the white just kind of glows on this card. For the second one, I actually thought that I would like to see it in a silver. So on the purple, you'll see in just a minute that I tried a silver embossing. Now I'm going to take a, a spray bottle here and just spray on a light mist. And then I sprayed some in my hand so that I could drop some larger droplets of water on there. And it creates just a beautiful water splash look on the card. So here I'm gonna go in with the purple background now. We'll do the jellyfish in silver, as I said, as I mentioned before. And these jellyfish I think are just so beautiful. I really liked this set. I went ahead and just placed that silver on and then I'll funnel the rest of it right back into the jar. Super simple. As I heat emboss, look at how pretty this silver is on that card base. Really pretty. So simple and I think I, I, think I really like that glowing look. So I'm choosing a sentiment here that says, just keep swimming. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm figuring out placement. I'm going to use my Misty to stamp it. And I, I thought I would stamp it three times, 
but you'll see that I stamped it twice and then I moved it up and it wasn't quite far enough so I moved it up again and even though I did that it was still not quite far enough so they're not spaced equally so that was my mistake I didn't move that down far enough so that I would have the measuring tool but I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix that I did heat emboss on black that silver just keep swimming and I'm going to put that on the card that way for the blue one here I heat set a sentiment on a black strip that says salt water heals everything and we're just going to pop those up with some 3m foam tape and I think they turned out kind of fun it gives the idea of just such a magical under the sea feeling with these jellyfish I think also these could be some really great encouragement cards so here I am just putting the 3M. I had to cut these down so that they would fit on those smaller sentiment strips. And then I went ahead and attached those to a top folding card base, which is the 110 pound paper. I really like 110 pound for my card bases. It makes the cards a little more substantial. To finish them off, I'm just gonna add some sparkling clear sequins. These are from Pretty Pink Posh. And that completes our card project for today. So I hope you enjoyed this look at creating some bioluminescence on your card. And maybe I inspired you to give this technique a try yourself. This can be done with any colors actually. So maybe try some more subtle colors or even some brighter colors. It's really fun with all the options that are available. Thanks so much for stopping by today. Here's a look at the cards a little closer. And I hope you enjoyed these projects. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. I'd love to see you back next time, so subscribe to my channel. Here's a few more videos you might be interested in. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.